appropriately next is asteroid feels like with these two reviews we've got the dark and the light of interstellar uh, interstellar travel um even if you look at the the two colors this came out last week and it was a a welcome reminder to me of this band being something that really stands out in the the metal landscape today when they release an album there is no one else who is really able to do the same thing and, and after i think it was three years since the last one this came out and seen people go oh fuck yeah asteroid this sound is like totally one off was a really warm thing to see have you ever listened to asteroid sam i had not listened to them before this album and they're one of those bands i'd seen always seen people talking about i was like I should check them out at some point and just never got round to it. Okay. Uh, me and Mark were singing their praises on the Hyperblasts last yeah. week. We were ob- I was listening to that and I was like, I should I should definitely like dig this. Like We were obsessed with their debut album Air when it came out in twenty sixteen, where they got this strange balance of like the hyper speed sky surging propulsion of a black gaze band, but with the sugar sweet pop melody lines of like Epicloud era Devon Townsend and even pop punk to a a degree Mm. they've sort of chilled out a bit in terms of intensity over the following records but they have like layered on the the prettiness and the dreamscapes and the emotion uh this record um i think it's out on the the periphery guys new label i think so in their sort of spheres as well um i I think in general it's been hitting a bit of a sweet spot for uh people and sam i did hope that the sheer melodic bliss of their sound would win you over where again some prog might not Oh, this is this is just pure musical bliss. Like this is a dream. This album, like I was just gonna, I like stuck on and was like, I'm just, I wash wash over me and just was like, I love this. This is this is wonderful. I'm quite relieved that you like it. You shot me a glance at it for a second there. That I thought we were gonna say, oh, it's wet and bullshit. But like, no, what? this is this is like <laughs> majestic. The 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 epic cloud, like Devin Townsend thing. Like like I love um. I was singing the praise of like Devil Sod His Soul when they were doing this kind yeah. of Well for um, me this band thing. gave me what I always wanted Tesseract to. Yeah. Like but um I was uh, like singing the praise of like Devil Sod when yeah. they were doing this like really pretty thing and they they obviously have the the metal the sort of the metal chords balanced against it. This is if you took the pure melodic side of Devil Sod His Soul and just made it even bigger and more lush and more beautiful and more like infectious and joyous and warm and it's just it's just a warm cuddle this album while still having those moments of like those blasts of metal in the music at times even with like just the the sugary sweet vocals and it's just so enthralling i mean this band managed to take something that was like sort of rooted in like the big major key progressions of like black gaze and and stuff like that there's definitely black gaze influence here but it just it does it without ever having to resort of just the, the kind of the the one note scream that sometimes I think a lot of black gaze bands can get bogged down. Yeah, I, I don't think they ever had a harsh vocalist, but the, the the black gaze sort of guitar parts are more like again the sort of the root of what they kind of started doing. And it, yeah. instead of being extreme with it, they've turned it into you know prog metal, pop. There's you know post rock thrash even at times. There's a lot. That's it. There's such a rush to it. There's like, a lot of um, like hyperactive thrash. Like the ironically titled sedative is uh quite thrash metal and they make that you know punk zip sound yeah but it's you know clouds and and gracefulness when i says like blast beats pummeling away and like there's so much like musical attack and it can still sound then really peaceful and tranquil because of like the vocal melodies that come in you've got like some like vaguely doomish riffs at times like with like with a big like riff ringing out but again it's just done in a way that's pleasant <laughs> yeah there's even some uh creature livesy type tones on decades at the end of it but like that sun-kissed slide in that the album does with yeah. admin is is beautiful it's so graceful and so warming to listen to that running in circles melody that comes in at the end of that i remember when they turned up and it was like this insane turbocharged pop fueled dream thrash thing but one of the most detectable elements in there was like i bet these guys like jimmy Eat world because there's you know the real emphasis on beautiful vulnerable sweetness of melody like alongside emo that. emo melodies yeah and i think that's what that's one of the things i love about this is that it has got that sensibility in in the approach of the vocals and it no one else is doing that in a way like this yeah like the vocals are like 100 percent all of the time in this kind of prettier you know angelic range um and if you like the sound of that delivering these you know very simple accessible vocal lines but over like full throttle metal riffing like in orchid or something uh and they do have like 
incredible victorious guitar lead in sedative all well, that solo that comes in in eyes is just like yeah. fucking just rip euphoria i mean that's like um is it sleep whisper which goes so vast yeah that's and like slightly just, like, darker but still like it's like yeah. you know reverberating through the pink space of the album cover yeah like it, it, but it, like this album just like you, you are on a mountain top when you're sticking this album on it is just like the most like grandiose open like sound of everything just like washing all around you and it's got so many like little bits going on and, and all these soundscapes kind of whirring around you and just like keeping you totally transfixed it, it's like really cool really incredible i mean it's just really like airy galactic music you know hurtling through the sky there are the parts of blast beats that have like full wall of sound that kind of like you know an alcest fan or someone could uh get on with but there's also like i said there's that kind of like punk urgency something like eyes which grabs you so yeah. immediately with that riff and the vocal lines they are like i said they're very easy and very accessible and they are a boon to have in proggy music like this that in drown the this seems so impossible i don't believe in hypotheticals like rings out so big and so clearly drown probably hit like an emotional no me i was like oh that's it it's pulling on my heartstrings <laughs> right there like it just and like even just the the opening of that song the music it just like sounds so evocative and i was just so on board with what they're doing yeah and and they have these kind of you know soft major key kind of choruses that come into you know darker songs like sleep whisper or human or whatever but they, it's like they soothe the kind of whole piece by by their presence it's really wonderful and they are able to crunch and be heavy and and hit you with like double bass jumps constantly in your chest while doing i think the balancing act in this music is quite hard to achieve and it could be quite a, a brick walled sense of dynamics but they still managed to to build it fairly well uh, as well i feel like across their three records so far they're still so, they're, they're trying to sort of almost work out the ideal of like this percentage of elements compared to this one yeah um you know or that that ideal asteroid balance the pop to the metal to the prog to the shoegaze whatever this one i think it doesn't necessarily have a single like kind of up and at them or i dream in lines from kind of previous records that were like ram in my heads for years but it's a, in terms of the balance of elements it's fucking it's great well yeah like nothing it never feels like the metal is like drowning out the the, the vocals they never feel like weedy and flat in comparison to how vast and like grand the music sounds everything is balanced so so well and this to me like i like i like i was does this feel like a real consolidation of where they've been on the past few records and just kind of bringing the elements it, it, together? it's sort of They've been tweaking across the yeah. three, basically. They had like an EP before that as well. And they're, again, sort of trying to find the right uh, balance of elements. But I certainly think this is probably the the most, I guess, definitive sort of asteroid sound that they've had. Uh, even though if, if, I think if you want this with like bangers, then you should go for, for air. Do, do you feel like, um, again, if this is the first time you've actually checked out this band, like are you like, in th- like enthusiastic about I'm so, like, th- this is like... I, I like not gonna do it right way because I want to get like the album cover stuff, but I'm like these are gonna be one of my main bands. I'm like I need to go back and listen to the other albums now and really kind of get a grip on where they've been and and like keep an eye on where they go from here. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I, I'm I'm really enthusiastic about just like you know singing this band's praises because in terms of new bands, like their first rec- album was in 2016. Like in terms of bands to have turned up in the last decade, like they're so unique and they are so. Yeah. They actually have their own sound that they've kind of invented themselves. Like, you know, they, they, there is obvious influence from various places, but like, you know, what a concept. They actually have a sound that they independently came up with that doesn't sound like anybody else. Like, well, I mean, that's it. It's like, you, you, you change the vocals and this could have just got lost in the black gay shuffle. Like, because, like. But even then, like, it's I, never it's never nasty, is it? Yeah. No, but like, like, um, but you know what I mean? If you had like a screen vocal, you yeah. could have maybe got lost in that. But by, by purely embracing the the pop melodies and the emo side with those like like wall of sound black great black ace crescendos and everything it just it sounds totally one of a kind yeah i mean fucking hell if you are someone who was going mental for like mole over you know recent years like and you don't know asteroid like fuck yeah but at the same time if you are not really interested in black metal like i, I don't they're not a black metal band like it's, it's no no a, like there's some musical black metal touches but it is not black no metal, it, it, like. it's 
poppy prog metal more than it is anything else and they can you know live in those kind of again this is out on like periphery sort of sub label so like, you know you don't have to be at all interested in fucking uh you know um alcest to really love this mm. like and i just feel like even when they're not on their like absolute a game of like writing knockout choruses just the act of having them on is just so soothing and and, and pleasing so when they are dishing out hits it's like man I, I will i will always be pushing for more people to listen to this band because they are one of a kind and good melodic songwriters and that to me that feels like yeah. a, that's a combo that should win fans yeah no totally like i, I like when i put this was like oh there was no way i wasn't not gonna like this the moment like the first song came in i was gonna like so this is what they do i was like yeah i'm gonna love the rest of this album aren't I? and i just was like yep cool radiant bloom is the name of that album it's the third record from asteroid 